What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map. This one is the Bus Depot Survival. This is the open beta test for Transit Reimagined. Man, they're... These zombies are moving pretty quickly already. Uh, is that... that should be boarded up. Anyways, this is the, uh, the like, the testing for... I can't board that one either. That's interesting. The testing for the Transit Reimagined, which is one of the two or three projects that's trying to like remaster all of Transit in Black Ops 3. So this will be me playing it and kind of following suit with some of my recent custom zombie videos. It's going to be cut and edited and I'm going to be featuring the more better looking maps that are recently released instead of the like, absolute most recently released map. Hopefully you all enjoy that a little bit better than what I've been doing where it's just kind of unedited, solid, like whatever is the most recent is the most recent and what I'm playing, so. Alright, Gopple Gum, 500, what is this? M4? A D14, okay. <laughs> um, oh wow. It's like a COD 4 M14. So I guess you can kind of say this is like a, uh, a reimagining of like the worst Black Ops 2 zombies map. <laughs> you know, Bus Depot Survival was pretty uh, pretty stripped down and boring and kind of kind of rough to play because you know you had lava, zombies, but like no perks, no power, no pack a punch, nothing. Just the box and zombies and lava everywhere. <laughs> yeah, look at the hip fire on this gun. Like, I don't feel like that should be a. I don't think that's intentional. And I'm gonna have to hide through the window. Alright, I'm gonna leave that zombie there and where's the door at? 750? Can I open this one? 750. Uh, just open that one. Alright, so what we got going on? Oh, rain. The rain is a little bit loud, but that's alright. What was that? What? It's a lever action, I think. Got the transit bus, I guess, or it looks like it. Alright, what is this? Is this openable? 500, okay. I'll take it. Oh, automatic dim flashlight. So, power. Got points for each other. Power, that's cool. Nice job. Um, bye, zombie. Oh, I almost have enough. Um, I don't think I've seen another gun out here. I might as well grab this. 1300 for it before we go. Oh, well. See, I got a door here to open up into this garage. Is this a door too? Another 1250. I believe this is also, yeah. So I got at least three different areas I can open to still. So it must be the last, yep. This is the last zombie. Alright. Juggernaut time. All right, figure out which one of the. What was that? Oh, that's double tap. All right, uh, do I open that one? I think I'll open that one because I see double tap. Yeah, definitely want double tap. Okay, that was the last one. Um. V or mouse four to ready up. What am I readying up for? <laughs> the game's already started. speak for. The game's already started. What do you mean ready up? Uh, the zombies are not spawning here. That's interesting. Gallo 
SA-12, SPAS-12. So I guess he uses a lot of Cold War weapons in the transit, we imagine. Wait, there's the box. How do I get to that? And there's Mule Kick. Um, how do I get to those? Wait a minute. Well, Hack a punch also, uh, Wonder Fist? Question mark? I believe so. So I got. I got enough. Might as well open it. Alright, so I do have Wonder Fizz. It's 1500. Don't have enough for the box now, but. We got Milk Kick. Yep. Packer Punch. Check out Packer Punch real quick. Wait. 20,000 to get the Packer Punch. Is that a typo or is that intentional? So I'm not sure what I'm running up for, but I guess, uh. Is it just like a skip around or something? Or is it like meant for dogs or a special boss round? Interesting, interesting. This uh this rain is definitely a little bit too loud. Like you can barely hear the zombies unless they're like literally right up the side of you. Usually by then they're uh, they're beating the crap out of you, so uh, yeah, it's not exactly a good thing. They also seem to be spawning everywhere as well. Not sure if that's intentional or not. All right, speed cola time. I'm curious if there's a perk limit in this too. That uh, would be uh, interesting to find out. Okay, that zombie is way too fast. Okay, get it with a grenade. Nice. All right, get all right. Good enough. I want to hit the box and see what weapons we have to play with here. A bar. Uh, okay. Yes, this is like the, the first fire in UMP, isn't it? Uh, no. I'm not taking that. Yep, burst fire. Unfortunately. Well, I guess now I just gotta build up some points. Try to open back a bunch for 20,000 points. Like, I feel like that's uh, not intentional or... Maybe it is. I don't know. Why would you make that door so expensive? I mean, you want people to test the map, so you don't want them to sit here and have to play it. Through. Like, I don't know, right? I might have found a spot I could stand in. It's like they don't seem to spawn over here, so. Uh, uh, I just had to take a quick break to go blow my nose and stuff. That going. These little allergies are getting me. Well, uh, it is that time of year. It's like stuff seems to be, uh, I don't know, coming back out since the winter is not being very cold anymore. And uh, maybe I should try this death. Okay, wow. Very loud. Uh, Hit marker animation with this one. But it is the um it is the custom minigun model that's cool. The zombies are getting pretty fast and they are super, super aggressive. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I mean I get the fact that there's plenty of space to maneuver, but I'd rather have zombies that are not like they can instantly down you if there's, even if there's just one of them. 
over, you know, a tight area and slower, less aggressive zombies. Like, I'd rather just have uh, normal zombies in small areas than big open space like this and zombies are running at like Mach 15 and can quadruple swipe you in less than a millisecond. <laughs> At least get rid of this. Ooh! Ooh, that's nice. I wonder if they'll have that in the, uh, the full transit reimagined version. Actually, I'm going to wonder if this once or twice and see if I get some perks. See what all perks he's got in this map. Oh, dead shot. Well, that's... Alright, that'll be helpful with this uh, excessive hip fire that he's got on these guns. Stamina up? Alright. What? I may only carry six perks. What? What is that? Um, excuse me, game. I don't have six perks. Hey, what? What? You may carry six perks. Why did you let me... Why? Why did you let me spin it and get a perk and not let me take it? <laughs> Ripped off, man. Ripped off. Alright. Eh, not terrible, I guess. That's why I was expecting more damage than that. I mean, even with double tap, like, more, more than that going around one of them. Get that 20,000 points real quick, though, probably. Uh, or not. Uh, just casually waiting for zombies to get some double points. Double points in the PPSH should be pretty awesome. Making a weird noise, too. Not sure if I really like the hit marker sound. It's kind of somewhat loud and excessive. Though. Like, it's not necessarily subtle. Like it, it should be, right? Alright, I just need 3,000 more so I can open pack a punch and I can see how these weapons are upgraded. Oh, ain't got nothing on the tab menu. It's, it's kind of interesting, it's just really plain looking. Oh, geez, zombie, will you just die? Like, it's round 13 and these zombies are really tanky. Look at that! I don't think double taps working very well. Here, there, he's made the. I guess he's really, really weak. One second. Oh, Alright, let's go open this ultra expensive pack a bunch. Alright, uh, it's only 5,000. Yeah, this PBS is uh, definitely weak because I am putting an awful lot of bullets in the round 14 zombies. So they should not be this bad. But I do want to see what it's like packed on. So. Alright, let's see what this is like upgraded. Grizzly Reaper. 105 and 630. That's kind of not really much of an ammo upgrade. Got a really cool camo on it. Uh, it's like a cross between, almost like a cross between the World of War type camo and almost like a uh, like a mob of the dead look to a little texture, just not glowing and animated. It's kind of cool. Yeah, like the exit four is not really having too much trouble taking out zombies on this round, but the previous stage is like. Mag dumping, you have to use half a mag to kill like two zombies. Uh, you know what? 
go upgrade this real quick. Oh, nice. I got a, a ready up round, so I got plenty of time to go upgrade. Alright, what is this? Xenomatter. Alright. Can I double pack these? What? 20,000 to master your weapon? What does that mean? Uh, yeah, I guess I got ground for another 20,000 points. You know, I don't even know if there's a viable ending. I have yet to figure that out. You know what? I wonder if this is kind of... kind of janky on this map. <laughs> Probably double upgrade the PPSH because, like... It's not very powerful, still. It's just the wall by there I was picking up. Ooh, double point and Overly aggressive zombies, you go away now. Right, I don't want the nuke. I don't want that. I do want to go double pack and see what that does. I'm pretty sure there's no viable ending, so I'm not going to worry about saving too many more points. We'll see what this kind of upgrade does. I'm guessing it's like double, actual double pack a punch. Oh, it is. 142 and 994. Alright. Is that just double pack a punch? Like with uh, AAT as well? What is it? Weapon at maximum capability. So you can only just double pack a punch and get one ammo type. It's kind of a step backwards because, you know, there's other ammo types, right? Oh, wow. Fireworks are up. Uh, pretty dang effective, I guess. Uh, um, is it going to do it with every shot? Like, I don't, don't really like that effect on my gun. Um, it's not good. It makes it really hard to see. I mean, the bullet impact tracers were kind of cool looking, but I can't see when I fire this weapon. It just, it's distorted by all the sparks and fire animation going off. Like, I can't even ADS it because it just blinds me out. I can't see anything. Kind of just going by the hit markers on this stuff. Yeah, that's. I'm not using that. I, I don't like that. I hope that doesn't do that with like every double pack of punch gun because that honestly, there just kind of ruins it where you can't see when you're firing. Even if it does do more damage or does a, a elemental a ammo type, like it even does it on the impact. So like if you're up close, that's blinding. Yeah, no, let's not do that. So yeah, if I, if I got any complaints about this map, or the transit reimagine what it's going to be like, the rain is a little too loud, and the ammo type, I guess double pack a bunch thing, is... Oh wow. How am I going down on this? <laughs> Dude, these zombies are way too aggressive way too aggressive. And why do I get a bloodhound while down? Like, what the heck? Zombies are way too aggressive. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure double tap also wasn't doing nothing either. Gun feels just as strong. So, yeah. Well, I guess three complaints. The zombies is a little, uh... I don't want to say unbalanced. It's just it's not the kind of balance that's fun, because I can literally run trains here all day long, no problem. But if I stop for two seconds, or there's one zombie catches me off guard, I'm instantly dead. Like, it's, not a, it's not the right kind of difficulty, I guess. But 20,000 for an upgrade that's kind of hindering more? 
I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. Goodness, that, like that right there. How many times did he just hit me out of nowhere? Like that. That I don't like when zombies are that aggressive. That that, that don't make it fun. It just makes it annoying because then you have to keep your distance from them at all times. Let me make sure this is not like just double tap one thing. Now. I'm pretty sure it said increases fire damage. Doubles bullet damage. Yeah, I, I don't believe it does. Don't feel like it doubles the damage. It feels the same. Alright. Let's see. What all guns are in the box? Ooh. Actually, I'm going to upgrade that. Is this fully auto? No. That's unfortunate. It's just like the Cold War version. Well, it's not quite like the Cold War version. It kind of gives it a six round burst. Which I don't like. It really wastes ammo. And it's really weird because it kind of slows the fire rate down because the bursts are longer, so you have to pull the trigger slower, and if you don't, it'll actually like, double delay the burst. Yeah, like, even this F-16 is better than the PPSH was. Even better, honestly, than it was double pack. The double pack, it was not, not very strong either. It was definitely better than it was, uh, Alright, another skip around. Um, you know what? I'm not going to skip the round, I guess. But, I think I've seen about as much as I need to see about this map. It's really cool. I really like it. It looks really good. I, just my complaint is, is like the rain's too loud because it's a constant noise that like drowns out the zombies coming up on you. The zombies are probably a little too aggressive. I mean, I'm fine if they're fast, but when they can quadruple swipe you and down you, even just like one zombie can almost instantly down you. That's not very fun. That's just annoying. The, uh, the double packing, I don't know why it's got to be 20,000. The ammo effect, yeah, that's, uh, that's blinding. That's just, that's overkill. Like, it shouldn't hinder you to upgrade your weapon like that, and then it still is not very good. That's my only complaints and things that, if it needs changed, or can be changed, should be changed. I do like the pack camera. That's kind of cool looking. Not very colorful, but it's definitely cool looking. But, anyways, that's my playthrough on this, so... I think I've seen about everything. Make sure there's, like, a five window or something like that in here. I don't believe there was. Oh, wow, I can build a barrier there. I'm gonna guess. Uh, here's a workbench. I keep forgetting that I can't knife. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next one.